Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors, your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. I'm glad to hear that they got a big show lined up. But first, our weather brought to us by Haney Technical Center at the corner of Baldwin Highway 77. I don't know about you, but we're having a wet week over here in Panama City. I've, I've been talking, uh, telling Gail, I said, we need to get our boat, honey, so I'm going to go to work this morning. But it, it's a 100% chance of rain today. That You've seen the forecast, I'm sure, all of y'all on top of it. But it's really a wet week, but hopefully we'll get it on out here soon. I, I've noticed up north in, uh, north of us, Alabama and Georgia not quite getting as much. So it, it doesn't affect the river readings that much on the Apalachicola, but now it does on the Choctatchee. But first... The high today is going to be 80, only 83. That's one of the lowest high we've had all summer long. Low 78, and water temperature now has dropped down to 84 degrees, which is a pretty big drop from 84. Dropped down three to four degrees the last couple of days. All right, let's look at the river readings. Apalachicola to Bluntstown is reading right now a 3.1, and of course it's shocked at Caraville, and we talked about this. It's going up. It's at 7.3 this morning. And it's going to continue to go up. It's going to be some rising water on the Choctahatchee River. So all you folks over there know what to do when the water's rising up. So just be ready for that. A tide chart brought to us by Kent Forest Lawn Funeral Home and Cemetery. Last two days we've just had flat out neat tides. We've got a little bit of a tide today. Not a lot of movement. We're looking at uh, today's Wednesday, August the 10th. We've got just a little bit of movement. The high tide is going to be a 4.9 this morning. We just had it. And low tide this afternoon at 4.35. That's about a 12-hour swing right there. Not a lot of movement. And the marine forecast is, you know, it's been high the last couple of days as far as wind. We're looking, they're calling for southwest at 20 to 30. And that's that little system out there. It's been there a couple of days, and it's going to keep blowing pretty strong. So not a good idea to get out on the water, seriously. Just uh, stay away from it. Not worth the chance to uh, something happen on you. So uh, go ahead and just uh, sharpen your hooks and uh, work on your tree stand or something, okay? Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. I'm going to say a special good morning to Ed and Jeanette Brooks. What a great time we had down in Caravelle. Ed and Jeanette watch the show every morning. We appreciate the viewership, outgoing, friendly folks there. And I really had a, it's just a unique uh, fishing tournament they have. We're going to talk about it more later. Got some video coming up. But uh, let's look at some pictures now before we get into our uh, 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 talking about Sea Quarter Marina. It was, uh, it was a great tournament. Let's go ahead and look at a couple of local pictures here. Let's see. Let's get started off here. Uh, we're going to, this is Roger Dover. He's texted this to me. He said, hey, coach, this is 40 inches. He was only out of the water long enough to get a picture. I caught him on a 10-pound test line. Here's a better picture of him right here. Took, took him out, got a picture of him, and let him go. Uh, that's good fishing there. Roger Dover. Good job, Roger. Okay, move on now. Uh, this is Jay Moody. A lot of y'all know Jay Moody. Jay, uh, an accountant here in town, uh, he, Jay uh, is a good outdoors when it gets time to go out, but look at that nice, nice fish right there, Jay Moody. Good job. I know your wife is very proud of you. All right? <laughs> All right, here we go. Good picture here. This is a Hart's fishing, Hart's fishing team in the local tournament this past weekend. John Labenthal caught his first white marlin. Good job there. You got uh, Bubba uh, taking them out. They, they fished it hard, they, and they had a good, good job there. White marlin caught and released. Uh, over the weekend. All right, this is what's amazing. Phil Chester, I, I've almost made a, a joke out of Phil Chester on Sunday afternoon catching his uh, uh, redfish. It, it's a, like a Sunday dinner. Every Sunday he's going to catch a redfish. This is third Sunday in a row that Phil Chester, I'm going to start claiming him as a close kin now catching that many redfish, but check it out. Another big redfish. Good job, Phil. Look like I caught this one later, okay? All right, three, three Sundays in a row. Talk about tree stands, getting ready for hunting season. Uh, uh, Bill Buchanan, he's finished his tree stand now. Got it on the trailer, taking it to the lease, and he's going to place it. That's a well-built tree stand. That will last a very long time. I always look at it when I see a tree stand. One of the first things I always look at is the roof, because that's usually the first thing to go out. That roof is in good, that's a good job there building that, Bill Buchanan, okay? All right, now, check this out. I got a... Uh, Hey, good morning, Winston. A photo of an eight-hour trip we took We took some customers on. Caught over 100 vermilion snapper. It was a great day was had by all aboard the Leo 2. You look like you were enjoying retirement. I'm on a couple of months behind you. Have a good day. It's Russ Nichols. And folks, look at those beeliners there. That is a fine fishing trip right there. 
Good job there. All right, thank you, uh, Russ. All right, a new definition, procrastinate fishing. That is the art of going fishing when you should be doing something else. I'm guilty of that, and I know a lot of y'all are guilty of that too. Okay, and here's Guy Martin Ward. We're talking about fishing off the pier. Look at here, nice triple tail. Right off, the, right off the Panama City Beach Pier. The triple tail, it's been a good year for triple tail this year. Okay, uh, one more, got a, got a boat for sale. Mr. Winston, I was wondering if you still put boat ads on your show? Yes, I do. If so, I have a 2007 14 foot pontoon brand boat that's all welded aluminum, 18 horsepower Nissan, two stroke engine, AMW trailer. The boat is stick steering and runs great. I just went out on it this past weekend. Asking price is $43.50. My phone number is, let me enlarge that for you. My phone number is, of course, 850-951-3237. So you can see that's a good looking boat there. Uh, look like you floundered good off that boat. That's a, that's a really nice, nice looking boat. Real comfortable, okay. All right, good job there. All right, now that takes care of our pictures. Let's go ahead and uh, next thing I wanted to mention, I wanted to talk about school starting this week all over all over the Florida Panhandle schools starting. A lot of schools starts today. Uh, Bay County next week, a lot of teachers are reporting all, but I always say this every year. Number one, make sure you drive safely around these school bus zones. You know, when the kids are getting on and off the buses, you just, you know, slow down, especially the kind of weather we're having. Always just drive a little bit slower, leave work a little bit earlier, and know where the bus routes are. Always be safe around buses. That's always the first thing that comes to mind. Second thing that comes to mind, I, I have so much, uh, so it's such a mixture of feelings. This is the first time in 44 falls that I'm not having to be at school this week, and it's, it's, it's weird feeling. I, I've had a I've had a bail schedule, folks, since I was six years old. I've always had to be somewhere on a bail uh, until this year. And I, I tell I tell uh, Jeff and Bob, I said, we're well, not to rush to get through the show. Just take your time because I keep I used to have to hurry up and get somewhere, but it, it's uh, that's a strange feeling. And uh, I'm going to miss some of the, I'm going to miss a lot of it. At the same time, the freedom to do some of the things I always want to do, you know, that that's the, balances it out. I do want to say a special congratulations to my niece, Amy Chester Jordan. Amy is my, my late brother's daughter. Today's her, she's been, her husband, Greg Jordan, the head football coach here at Bluntstown. Today's Amy's first day as an assistant principal at Bluntstown High School. She's taught all these years, got a promotion this summer. Today's her first day on the job. Honey, I'm proud of you. Your dad will be very, very proud of you this morning. So I just want to give you a special shout out and all you kids that go to Bluntstown High School, run by and give her a big hug and tell her good luck in her new job as assistant principal. And they tell us the only time you want to see her because you don't want to be sent to the principal's office. You don't want to get a spanking, okay? But anyway, good job, Amy. Real proud of you. So anyway, I'm going to talk about school later on, about different things and all. I got some, I was thinking driving this morning. So many things I want to tell you, parents and grandparents, and wish good luck to all the teachers. I know there's some hardworking teachers out there. I, I, I respect you and I, I love what you do and I, I'm going to miss you teachers and I know your parents are excited and nervous especially the young ones and all so many it's such a special time of the year our 12 months a year this is just a special time I don't care if you're a parent or grandparent or just uh, watch kids go down the street to school so just be careful out of driving and be, be aware that uh, uh, kids are getting back on schedule now uh, we're going to take a break and we'll be right back Okay, welcome back. We are going to get ready to get into our video on the Sea Quarters Marina uh, Leukemia Research Foundation King Michael Tournament. I know that's a mouthful, but it, folks, this is the most unique tournament I go to each year, and I go to a bunch of them. There are a bunch of good ones, but this is sort of more of a family kind of event than I've ever been around, and each year just get, people get closer and closer, and it, it's such a special situation because it was started because, you know, Jimmy Crowder lost his daughter to leukemia. He, you know, he, I'm, he vowed he was going to find a cure for it himself and uh, get enough money to, to get it to, get to the research people. And he started it 13 years ago. And to, uh, up until this term, they've raised $800,000 for leukemia research. This term this past weekend raised, an, raised another $60,000. So it's $860,000. And I, I, we're going to have a, it's going to be a joyful occasion probably year after next when they hit $1 million. And that money goes directly to leukemia research folks up there in Chicago. So it's, it, it's, it's uh, and it, they spread it around to different doctors and also, anyway, uh, research institutions. And, and you, you can just get the feeling when you go there. Everybody, of course, everybody wants to catch a big mackerel, but everybody just, you know, they, you know, you, you just get, it's hard to describe unless you've been there a while. And I, 
I've always get a little disappointed. I don't see that many Panama City people there. I get to see a lot of South Georgia people. I've become close friends with a lot of them, and every year we compete against each other. But we know at his captain meeting, we know uh, where that we're, you know what we're doing there. We're really getting some money to help folks out, and uh, and there, there's actually now there there's been some actual fishermen where their families would, would you know they this past year we lost a fireman out of Tallahassee who fished with us every year through leukemia, and he's had it for a couple of years, and uh, and then. Uh, uh, there's so many stories on, on, on this on this tournament and all. It's it's amazing. So, without anything else being said, I, we got so much video. I'm going to we're going to do a two-part video. This first part just be the captain's meeting itself, and then tomorrow I have a guest. But the next day I'm going to do the second part. I know some of y'all are watching all over on YouTube. I thought you're going to have you thought you're going to be on TV today. I'm going to have to put it off. At the way the way in now and all that's going to be on on day after tomorrow. Well, I have that on. But today we're just going to hit the captain's meeting to give you the essence of what's going on. This is on Friday night, going down to Sea Corps Marina. So, uh, Bob, let's go ahead and roll this video. All right, here we are, folks, in Carabella, Sea Corps Marina, the 13th annual fishing tournament. Kingfish shootout. Parking lot is full. We got a captain's meeting. We're going to see who we see. I like this grill, check this out. Smoke the grill chicken. I'm gonna buy this one. Look at here. I'm gonna win this thing. 25 tickets for 100. Oh, <laughs> you ready for tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Everyone see if you can find a seat if there's one available. Every year we have mystery bags, and they're $25 a piece. Right there. And one of those bags, there's a $100 gift certificate to Blue Water Outfitters. Every bag is worth more than $25. There will be somebody that. They will be there at 6 o'clock with a spotlight and a bullhorn, you show them your boat number and they will holler back at you that they recognize you. And, and, and we know the reason we're here for the tournament and, and uh, we offer our prayers and concerns for you, your family, and anything that we can do for the Leukemia Foundation. Uh, Jimmy Crowder has shown his strength in doing that and you people supporting this tournament through the years. We appreciate that too. Now, any more questions? Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, for those of you who are new, uh, my name is Rob Graveman. I'm from the Leukemia Research Foundation up in Chicago. And uh, I've come down here every year since 2003 when, when uh, we started this tournament down here. This is the 13th year uh, that we've had the uh, tournament. And so, first and foremost, I want to thank all the boats uh, and the participants who are returning, who fished in this tournament for many years, maybe even all, all 13 years, and also for all the, uh, the new participants this year. Thank you so much for coming out here and doing this. Uh, I know it, it, the first thing, primary thing, is everybody's gonna have fun and, and catch fish and have a great time, but you are also uh, benefiting a very, very good cause. Uh, uh, just a couple of words about our foundation and, and, and what we do and why we're here. And we've been so proud to partner with Jimmy and the Crowder family and Seaquarters and everybody here over these years uh, with this. Uh, we are the Leukemia Research Foundation. As the name implies, what we do is research. Uh, we raise money and our medical advisory board uh, solicits grant applications from doctors and scientists around the world. They rank them and we give the money out that we have to the very, very best who are gonna find new treatments and cures uh, for leukemia. And we've been doing that since 1946. Uh, it was uh, two families that had lost children to leukemia, formed the foundation to raise money to help try and find a cure for the disease and back then there was no such thing. 
Uh, nowadays, it, there, are, there are many, many success stories. Uh, Ron Hayes' son, for one, uh, is, is a success story that, that we can point to and, and uh, I'm so happy about. Uh, so 70 years we've been doing this and 13 years here. So everybody, thank you. Have a great time uh, on the water. I love coming down here and meeting people and, and doing the fishing with everybody as well. Uh, and couldn't be more happy to do it. So thank you everybody for being here. Appreciate it so much. Before we go any further, I want to make an announcement. Uh, some of y'all may or may not know, or do remember the dock board that's been for every, and I'm trying to say this without crying, <laughs> every tournament we've had, Dakota Massey. Last, last, last year, Monday after the tournament, he was in a very, very bad car crash, and he's basically a paraplegic, and we hope that he gets better, but right now, it's, it's, it's iffy. And so in your prayers, just say a prayer for Dakota and his family, because they have had a really rough time, and we really miss him this year. And like I said, he's been here for, for 12 years, he did it. And uh, he was here last year. If any of y'all was a real, was a very vibrant young man that worked the docks and was very pleasant. And like I said, we miss him a great deal. And this is a plaque that we give Mr. Hayes. And this is for last year. Now, I'm not going to tell you what it's brought us this year. We'll talk about that a little later. This is presented to the Ronald Hayes family of Hayes Liquid Transport. They're out of Camilla, Georgia. This is the man that builds a grill and donates it every year and then turns around and sells tickets on it. In appreciation of your unwavering commitment and outstanding dedication in raising in excess of $76,000 in the past five years for the Leukemia Research Foundation and Seaquarters Marina. Thank you very much. <laughs> Guess what I have locked up y'all can't find? He bought me over $20,000 this year. That's in, that's in excess of the 76. You know, I don't really know what to say other than, you know, all the things should go right here for doing what he does. And uh, my family is fortunate enough to be one of the success stories, and we're just thankful for what you do, Mr. Steele. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that. Let's look at our fishing game time for today, brought to us by Baron's Barbecue Shrimp Marinade. Our time this morning, 6.37 to 8.37. You're probably going to get wet tonight, 6.59 to 8.59. So chalk up those two times. Take a look at them if you can get out and do something in safe, safe weather. Go ahead. Uh, by the way, they've got a big display case now, People Weekly there in St. Joe. Got Baron's Barbecue Sauce on it. Let's get back a video real quick. When I, say, when, when I say I hope you enjoy it, I always mean that when I hope you enjoy it. Because we try to do a lot of unique different things here on Panhandle Outdoors. We don't have a lot of reruns. We try to bring you fresh stuff all the time. And this comes once a year. And, you know, I always ask everybody to help out. And a lot of y'all, you know, don't have boats. So a lot of our viewers 
or have boats and aren't able to go uh, fishing for at a tournament like that. But what what you can do to help? I was thinking while the video was running, what I could ask you to do to help. I think next year I'm gonna really push this. Uh, we can all donate some prizes. They have a big raffle where people buy raffle tickets and they have a whole just a long table full of prizes. And uh, next year I'm gonna start asking y'all. You know, beginning of summer, uh, I, we've had ladies make quilts. Uh, uh, you can buy a rod and reel and, and donate it. Let them give that away. 100% of that money they raise at a raffle. Uh, there's no 100% uh, of that money goes to leukemia research, and that, that's what it just amazes me to just sit around and watch that and help out a little bit I can, and everybody pitches in. So what you can do as a Panhandle Outdoor viewer up in Mariana or whatever, you just get a hold of me uh, between now and next year, and I just take a I come by your house or you can bring here to the studio, and I'll take a truckload of stuff down there maybe a week before so those ladies can get it in line and, and people can buy raffle tickets if you just want to donate a prize. It could be anything, a little ice chest, whatever. So uh, be thinking about that because I, I want everybody to help. I know you want to help too. And uh, and again, I've mentioned this time and time again, Carabelle, uh, Florida is, is probably the last fishing village in Florida. I know you have Stenhatch and some of those other places, but those aren't really a, a big fishing village. Uh, they're, they're like I one little landing there, but uh, Carabelle is just special. So uh, anyway, help out on the can. Now, I had some other stuff to get into, but I don't have time to get into it. So I, tomorrow now I have a special guest coming on. We're talking about the National Wild Turkey Federation. Ken Perriman will be here. Bring He's going to bring the, the main prize they're going to be giving away at the banquet next week. Then now the next day I will have the rest of this video that you folks that are watching YouTube and all, I'll have the rest of this video so you can watch it at the weigh-in. Amazing, amazing story of how this guy won it. Uh, you're just not going to believe what happened. The, uh, he, he, he went with a new crew. He fished Saturday, one crew, and then Sunday, his crew Saturday night went out partying. They couldn't, wouldn't get up. He went with a new crew Sunday morning and caught the winning fish. Great story. i got to wrap it up for today. Make sure you do something good for your fellow man. You have a great day. Stay dry. Be careful around school. And God bless. Thanks for joining us for Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors features hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.